Okay, hello. We have another lesson for grade 7 math, which is, this is for first quarter, module 1, sets. And we're going to study about the lesson 2.1, union and intersection of sets. Okay, in this video, we will going to discuss the intersection, disjoint set, union, cardinality of union sets. And I will going to represent the union and intersection of sets using Venn diagram. Okay, so let's have first the what we call the union of sets. So let A and B be sets. The union of two sets is the set that contains those elements that belong to A, B, or both A and B. We have A, U, B. And read as... A union B. In symbol, we have A union B equals the X such that X are the element of A or X are the element of B. So we have an example number one. We have A union B. Okay, let A be the set A. It is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And set B is 2, 4, 6, 8. 10. Then we will going to find the A union B. Okay, A union B. To find A union B, uh, we will going to combine the set A and set B. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we combine the elements of set A and set B without repeating the elements. Okay, again, iku combine natin. Yung set A at saka yung set B na hindi na uulit yung mga elements. Okay, so that is how to find the union set of set A and set B. Okay, and then I will going to represent this in a Venn diagram. Okay, so we have the set A. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And we have the set B. 6, 2, 4, 8, 10. Okay. Therefore, the union of or A union B is equal to the elements in set A and the elements of set B. Okay. We combine without repeating the elements. Okay. Again, a union B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, next let's have another example of union. Okay, our set A is O-V-E-R. And our set B is L-O-V-E. Okay, find A union B. Okay. So, the first step is to combine the elements of set A and set B without repeating the elements. Okay, so we have the A union B equals L-O-V-E-R. Okay, so kung ano yung elements na nando doon sa A and B na magkapareho sila, isang beses lang mag appear doon sa Union. So, hindi na okay, next. Using the Venn diagram, okay, let A equals O, B, E, R. Okay, we have the set A, O, V, E, R. And set B is L, O, V, E. Okay, we have L, O, V, E. Okay, and then A union B. Okay, we combine the elements in A and elements in B without repeating the elements. So, we have L-O-V-E-R. Okay, so that is the A union B. Okay, next we have the intersection of sets. Let A and B be sets. The intersection of two sets is the set containing those elements that belong to both A and B. 
So we have A, the symbol of intersection, and then B. Read as A intersection B. So in notation, we have A intersection B equals X such that X are the element of A and element of B. And in closed with braces. Okay, we have an example number one. So let A, or we have the set A equals F A C E. And set B equals M A S K. Then we're going to find A intersection B. To find the elements common to set A and set B, okay, pipiliin natin kung ano yung common doon sa set A at saka set B. Okay, kung ano yung pagkakapareho ng set A at saka ng set B. So, in this example, A intersection B equals A. A is the common elements of set A and set B. Okay, next, using Venn diagram, we have the set A, the elements are F, A, C, E. Okay, well, set B, the elements are M, A, S, K. Okay, so element common to set A and set B is the A element. Therefore, A is the intersection of set A and set B. Okay, we have now A intersection B equals A. Okay, so next, we have an example number 2. We have the set A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And we have the set B, 4, 8, 12, 16. Then find A intersection B. Okay, again, we're going to find the elements common to set A and set B. So, ano ba yung pagkakapareho ng set A at saka ng set B? Okay, so in this example, A intersection B is equal to 4, 8. Okay, yun yung pagkakapareho ng set A at saka ng set B. 4 at saka 8. Okay, next. Using Venn diagram, okay, we have the set A. The elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. While set B, we have 4, 8, 12, 16. Okay. The elements common to set A and B are 4 and 8. So that is the intersection of set A and set B. Okay. We have now A intersection B equals 4, 8. And then close with braces. Okay, so that is how to find the intersection of set A and set B. Okay, next, let's have an example number 3. The set A is F-R-U-I-T. Set B, we have C-A-K-E. And find A intersection B. So, as you can see, in the set A and set B, we have no elements common. Okay? Wala silang elements na magkapareho. So, therefore, A intersection B is an empty set. Okay? So, wala tayong ilalagay. So, kapag empty yung set ng intersection, okay, so that is what we call the disjoint set. Okay, using the Venn diagram, we have A, set A, we have F, R, U, I, T. And we have the set B, C, A, K, E. No element common to set A and set B. So therefore, we have A intersection B equals the empty set. Okay, again, sets whose intersection is an empty set are called disjoint sets. 
Okay, now how about the cardinality of union of two sets? Okay, so the cardinality of a union B is equal to uh, the cardinality of A, set A, plus the cardinality of set B, minus the intersection or the cardinality of A intersection B. Okay, again, um, to find the cardinality of union set, ipa-plus natin yung cardinality ng set A plus the cardinality ng set B. And then, after that, ima-minus natin yung intersection ng set A at ng set B. Okay, we have an example number 1. We have the set A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And set B, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, to find the cardinality of A union B, we're going to have the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B minus the intersection of A and B. Okay, it is equal to the cardinality of set A is 5 plus the cardinality of set B is 5 minus the intersection of A and B, which is uh, there is no intersection between set A and B. Therefore, we're going to add 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 minus 0 and the cardinality of A union B equals 10. Okay, next, let's have an example number 2. Set A, we have O, V, E, R. And set B, we have L, O, V, E. A union B is L, O, V, E, R. The cardinality of A union B equals the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B minus the intersection of A and B. Okay, we have the cardinality of set A is 4. And the cardinality of set B is 4. Minus the intersection of A and B. The intersection is O, V, E. So we have 3. So minus 3. Then we will going to add 4 plus 4 is 8. Minus 3 equals 5. So, therefore, the cardinality of A union B equals 5. Again, we have L, O, V, E, R. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so that is how to find the cardinality of union set. Okay, next, so it's time for your activity. We have uh, set A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. And set B, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. And then we will going to find the following. Find A union B. Number 2, find A intersection B. And number 3, the cardinality of A union B. Okay, and you are going to draw it in bin diagram okay so please don't forget to like subscribe and to click the bell button below for more videos okay for more math video lesson please search math ish and then click playlist for compilation and then please don't forget to like subscribe and click the bell button below Okay, for clarifications, corrections, suggestions, um, please comment it below. And thank you.